There's a glamour to Billy. There's a specialness to Billy. He was the first. He was the first great, great player. All right, I'm going to go into a little bit of detail about why Billy Mitchell's scene is even a thing. So late one night, we're up playing Halo until 4 or 5 in the morning. When we're finished, we put on King of Kong. If you have not seen King of Kong, check it out. You got Billy Mitchell, you got Steve Wiebe. So we're watching King of Kong, and at one point, we pause it. We pause this movie and Billy Mitchell's face. So this scene with the white background, our TV was doing something weird, like he was still, but sometimes his head was twitching back and forth. Very small, like you couldn't see it regularly, but when you looked really close, nonetheless, it was twitching. After sitting there laughing, the image was turning into different things, where Billy Mitchell's head was transforming into an elephant or a spy, whatever. His head was moving around. It was not a static head. It is not as you see it. Things. It was like the ink blot effect. This, this scenario, this whole situation is impossible to recreate. But as an ode and tribute to that moment in time, I present to you a couple of Billy Mitchell videos, which I know are horribly low quality. But it's from, from the, the vault. vault. But if anybody on the internet stumbles across them, it'll make my day. The fact of the matter is, Bill is the best classic arcade gamer of our era. Do you have a statement, Mr. Mitchell? No statement from Mr. Mitchell. I'm often asked by people, you know, if somebody wants to become a world champion, what do they do? And the very first bit of advice I give them is forget it. <laughs> I say, um, you don't become a world champion, it's, it's in your DNA. Bill is the best. I'm the dish. Dish man. 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 Dish man.